How does this look? Does this look, does this look ridiculous? Okay, are we ready? Hey, this is Brad again. Day three here at the 2019 Space Symposium. Uh, AFRL booth is right down there, and we're kind of stuck inside all day. The weather's kind of cold and horrible, so we're going to show you around the booth and show you some of the visitors that came by. We might even listen to an engineer or two talk about, uh, talk about their projects. So, hey, let's, let's go into the booth and take a look around. My name is Marissa and I'm here representing the small satellite portfolio of the Air Force Research Lab. We're part of the Space Vehicles Directorate out of Kirtland Air Force Base. Uh, we do small satellite missions and are investigating a series of capabilities. Uh, so in general, most DOD uh, government space experiments at this, up to this point have been kind of like really very large satellites. Um, so there's not been a whole lot of investigation into the utility of small satellites and that's kind of how the small satellite portfolio came to be. Within the small satellite portfolio, we actually are able to see our satellites all the way from concept up to operations. So we have the full capability in-house to take an idea build it from scratch uh, using both commercial off-the-shelf parts and in-house kind of developed parts, uh, test it within our facilities, and then actually operate it on orbit. My name is Idris Sadu. I am an engineer and program manager out at Air Force Research Laboratory at Edwards Air Force Base. Finished up my bachelor's and master's in mechanical engineering back home in Cleveland, Ohio, and moved out to California to work in the space industry. Well, I'm here today to showcase one of the promising technologies and architectures that we've been re actively researching and developing called Armour. It's the Affordable Responsive Modular Rocket Group. Here, we have a sample of what Armour could be. Uh, this is simply a smaller version of what you typically see with traditional engine systems today. So these are your miniaturized or smaller thrust cells, right? Um, what Armour poses to do is to reduce the life cycle cost, reduce the development time needed to develop new propulsion units, and for industry to leverage this technology for them to get to the market more quickly and more cheaply. So that's the end of day three here at the 2019 Space Symposium. Walk outside from the exhibit hall and it is snowing. Yeah, they're calling for a blizzard. Can you believe that? It was 60 degrees this morning with blizzard warnings. So we spent the day in the booth talking to people coming and going, and that was exciting. We got to see some old friends. Uh, General Masiello stopped in to say hi. It was great to see him again. Uh, Dr. Cooley stopped in uh, again just, just, to, just to chat. It's always awesome to see him. We also had General Raymond from Space Command drop in and, and say hi. So, you know, it was, it was a really fun day. We also got to hear uh, some of our young engineers talk about their work and how passionate they are about the job they're doing for the Air Force and the Air Force in space. So, hey, that's day three. Look forward to a fun day four. We'll see you tomorrow.